So you're thinking about buying an Xbox Series X or S console, but you're kind of concerned about the storage limitations. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't worry about that. And this is why. What's up y'all, hoping y'all feeling okay, hoping you're all doing well. So in my previous video, I was talking about whether or not I feel the Xbox Series S is a good purchase, which it is, it's an amazing purchase, it's a steal actually. And in that video, I briefly mentioned that a lot of people don't know that you can actually play optimized versions of Xbox Series X and S games directly off a hard drive. So in this video, I wanna go through my external hard drive to show you what I have and show you some of the games I found that you can actually play directly off your hard drive that are also optimized for the Series X and S. But please, before we get into that, please like, subscribe, hit me up in that comment section below. Now let's get to it. So these are the games I currently have installed on my Series S and my hard drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter to the games that are on my external, which is right here. All right, and you see I have all of these games on my external hard drive. So one thing I'm gonna show you, if the game is optimized for the Series X and S and it doesn't work on the external hard drive, let's say like Forza Horizon 4 for instance, it won't do anything when you try to play it. Also, another way to find out if the game doesn't work off the external hard drive, I'm gonna show you um, right here. Let's say you try to download a game that's optimized Destiny 2, for instance. I'm gonna try to download this directly on the hard drive instead of my internal SSD. Still on Easy Store. Okay, I'm gonna just select the base game. You're gonna get this message saying it has to be installed on the internal storage. So that's how you know if it'll work on the external drive or not. Okay, so going back to my games. Okay, it's already filtered. So these are the games that I found that are optimized for the Series X and S that you can actually play directly off your hard drive. And this is a huge one right here. Master Chief Collection, the optimized version. You can play directly off the hard drive. And with that, you're saving 130 gigabytes. That is insane. One thing you're losing out on are the fast load times, but you're saving so much space on your internal SSD. So I highly recommend just taking this game because Master Chief Collection, in my opinion, it's a must play for on Xbox consoles and you're saving a lot of storage just putting it on your external. And another game that I have no problem playing is Ori, Minecraft, what else is, um, Rocket League, Sea of Thieves, The Division, um, Warhammer, um, what else is optimized? Um, For Honor. Just to show that it works, um, let me just go in here. And like I said, you're losing out on the fast load times, but you're saving space. See, that works. So let's close this out. Let's try Minecraft Dungeons. See, if you see the loading screen coming up, that means it's gonna work directly off the external hard drive. You're just losing out on the loading times once again but you're still getting like the higher fidelity, like graphics and better frame rate. See, works perfectly. One game that you can play off the external hard drive that's optimized, even though I, I wouldn't recommend playing it off the external hard drive is Sea of Thieves. Yes, it saves you space, but you're gonna need the fast loading times for this game because when you're like, when you get killed and it takes a while to respawn and you're gonna need that SSD to help you load into the game faster. Like this right now, it's taking, it's already taking too long to load. And when it's installed in the internal SSD, it's so much quicker. But yeah, so I thought you guys should know this. You don't have to buy that super expensive NVMe SSD to expand it just right now. You can use this option and it's going to save you a lot of money and it's gonna save you a lot of storage on your internal SSD for your console. So by the time, let's say all games are fully next gen, I'm pretty sure that NVMe SSD price is gonna drop. So it's been mentioned that games optimized for Series X and S all have to be downloaded on the internal SSD. And I'm 
pretty I'm pretty much scratching my head here as to how come I haven't seen any you know main gaming publishing sites or media outlets showing that you can play a lot of these games directly off the hard drive now the games that I showed those aren't all of them those are just a few that I saw and I tried there's I'm pretty sure there's more games optimized for the new console that you can play off the hard drive and I'm sure as the generation continues all these next-gen games that are made fully for the Xbox Series X and S are gonna have to be downloaded to on this Series S or X internal SSD, but you can still move them and just hold them on the external hard drive and just move them back and forth. So do yourself a favor, do not buy that $220 NVMe SSD for the Xbox Series X or S. Just get you an external hard drive for now. You can find them for like 70 bucks. I got mine for $53. And I know there's an Xbox One Seagate one that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show a picture of it right here and I'll, I'll link it down below as well. I believe it's around like $80, and you can use that for a while until eventually the price of the NVMe SSD goes down, and it will go down eventually. And it, it's just gonna save you a lot of money, a lot of space, and it's just a better buy, especially if you want the Xbox Series S, it's gonna save you a lot of money. All right, y'all, let's end it right there. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking the time out to check out my channel, my video. I really, really appreciate it. It goes a long way, just a view, a like. You guys have no idea how much that means to me and how much it helps my channel. So thank you so much once again and take care.